Next up on the famous street circuit, it's Gigi Gali up against Petter Solberg. The drivers line up two at a time, starting on opposite sides of the circuit. One of them up on the main straight, the other alongside the swimming pool in front of the harbour. Gali and Solberg are off into the three-kilometre stage. The circuit encompasses the harbour section of the Monaco Grand Prix circuit, with the drivers making a sharp right at Sandovot and heading down towards the water instead of the steep climb up to Casino Square. guarantee Gali and Solberg will be loving every moment of this. They are both showmen at heart and with neither of them under any threat from behind, they can concentrate on putting on a show for the thousands of fans that have made the trip to cheer on the world's greatest rally drivers. Solberg, of course, got a bit carried away here last year, indulging in a donut just after the finish line. No sign of showboating yet from the former world champion, but he is still throwing the Impreza eagerly from corner to corner. Just one more lap to go for Solberg. He heads round Raskas corner, while Gali is now on his way down to the harbour. One more huge power slide in front of the yachts. Who's going to win this battle? And it's Solberg. He beats Gali by 2.1 seconds and secures fifth place. Gali makes a half donut and he finishes sixth on his return to the WRC. This, though, is the lineup we've been waiting for. We now have a thrilling head to head fight for third between Chris Atkinson and Francois Duval. Atkinson was in a very similar situation last year when he managed to beat Miko Hirvonen by just two tenths of a second to claim fourth. It could be just as close as that today, and as a Monaco resident, he may have a slight advantage over his rival. They're getting close to the halfway split time now. Remember, Duval is just 1.1 seconds behind Atkinson. And the Belgians, four tenths of a second up so far. He's halfway there then, just over half a second more. And he could snatch third on the very last stage. Atkinson with some work to do then. This battle has been raging since stage one. There's never been more than 28 seconds between them. And although Duval has closed right up, the Subaru driver has proved a stubborn opponent so far. Just the last couple of corners to come now. Duval blasting towards the swimming pool complex. This is going to be extremely close. And they're dead level. Identical times on the stage. So Atkinson retains third. And that is his first ever podium finish on 